Okay then, you've tuned in to Wayne's Electrical once again and in this video today we're going to be doing uh, an electricity meter accuracy test, okay? So, you can see the room there, it's currently empty, no equipment in it and I'm going to be getting all the equipment up in front of the camera so you can see what is needed to pull off an accuracy test and then we'll connect it all up and get straight into it. Okay, right, we've got meter uh, meter accuracy testing board there, evolution number three of course. Uh, a bit more equipment then. Phantom loading unit, okay, that's where all the other bits of equipment connect in. It's like a little hub so that all the bits can go in there and power everything up. Uh, not done, still need more equipment. There we are. Transformer then, okay, it's in there, we exchange volts or amps so that we can whiz the electric meter up. Uh, not on its own it's not, okay, we're going to need a couple of other bits connecting to that for load control, uh, precise setting of current and all of that stuff. So let's get that up in front of the camera then. Variac, okay, that allows us to precisely set the amount of current that uh, gets fed into the transformer, uh, but... Still not done, okay, we're going to need to tone things down a bit, so I'm going to get two more bits of equipment up in front of the camera, and that will be it then, so have yourself a look at this. Okay then, sat on top of the transformer, we've got 3 kilowatt water heater, okay, that allows us to limit the amount of current overall, and it allows us to precisely set that variac a bit better. Uh, leaning up against the wardrobe, we've got the all-important fungigory pokery unit, okay, because we're going to need to uh, jig and poke things in most delightful ways. But, uh, still not done because we're going to need some patch cords, so popping up on the floor next to the sight transformer, we've got these. There we go then, patch cords, okay, that allows us to interconnect with all the various different bits and pieces. Uh, yes, so I think that's all the equipment then we're going to be needing to pull off an accuracy test. Um, ah, oh yes, that was it. I'm going to set everything up now. Uh, yes, yeah, so have you have a good look at that, and as if by the power of video editing, all the bits are going to magically join up, and then we'll cut straight into uh, electricity meter accuracy test. And there it is then, so everything's now connected up, ready to pull off an accuracy test. Uh, yeah, let's uh, pick the camera up and have a look at, and look at it from another angle. Okay. There it is, sorry about that, just hit the radiator. So there it is then, all the equipment connected up down there. Now I'm not going to be going into detail on this one because I've already done that. Okay, I've already done that video, so all we need now on that screw all the way over there on the wall we need an electric meter to hang on it so now I'm going to get the camera a bit closer then and let's cut straight into it right, let's put the camera tripod in amongst all the wires right about there I reckon we'd do it Right, okay, I'll set the camera up then. So, I'm just going to go get the uh, subject, and as if by the power of video editing, it'll just pop up there on the wall. There we go then. There it is. So that's what we're going to be testing then. And this, the model for this one is Schlumberger boxofchocolates.com. Okay, let's let's go again then. Let's not hurt its feelings. Clicky clacky plastic box. Well, we've got to test it anyway. <laughs> yeah, not really impressed with the construction quality of that, but uh, somehow it's an electric meter. So what we got then? It's a Schlumberger SPB01. Okay. So, we've got to give it an accuracy test. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember now if it's that one or the other one I've got. Yes, I've got two of them. 
uh, that uh, I got it up on the wall. This was on my previous channel, and I gave that it, it's a really serious flipping caning. Uh, I think I got it up to like, un, it was beyond. Uh, I think it was like getting on for like 150 amps or something like that. It was absolutely stupid, and it was the pulse light in that was going like a disco strobe. Uh, so in today's video, we're going to see if it's either that one or the other one which has maintained its accuracy after taking uh, beyond its loading capacity, kind of beating. Okay, we'll be surprised if it is. So then, characteristics for this one then. It says obviously a single phase uh, two wire instrument, 240 volts. Is it 240 or 230? No, it's actually 230 volt one, this one. Okay, you know, they've decided to, for whatever reason it may be, write 230 and instead of 240, even though there's a high possibility of it being connected into a 240 volt supply. But let's not go into that. Uh, 20 to 100 amps, okay, we're not going to get anywhere near 100 amps in this one, because we got it on Phantom on the metering board, on the meter accuracy testing board, Evolution 3, of course, as you saw at the beginning of this, and yeah, we're going to give it a nice little Phantom load in there, okay, we're going to go gentle with it, mainly because that's all the uh, metering board can handle, and there we are, uh, oh, we haven't got a load wheel, have we? Well, instead then we've got a pulse light which goes 800 times for 1 kilowatt hour. And uh, what we're going to do is here put 1 kilowatt hour accuracy test. What we've got to do is get that 800 to divide it by 10 to get 80. Okay, we've got 2% tolerance to play with. Okay, now this is going to turn out to be a bit cranky because, you know, you can't have like 0.5 of... Well, you actually you can have 0.5 of a pulse, I'll have you know. Uh, but what I'm saying is you can't have like 0.16 or, uh, you know, 0.4 or 0.3. You can you can sort of work out using the testing instrument whether it's half pulse or not. Okay, because currently it's off and then it's got to go on and then off. And that's defined as a pulse. Okay, so one on and one off, that's a pulse. And it does eight of those before one of the number drums turns. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, on that note, the ideal amount of pulses will be 80, okay, if it's on the fast side we can have 81.6, don't ask me how I'm going to figure out 0.6 of a pulse, let's not go there, so, you know, we might sort of round it down to either 81.5 or 81, uh, for the slow speed then we've got 78.4, again I don't know how I'm going to do 78.4, so we'll either round it down to 78 or 78.5, 78 and a half is nearer, really, isn't it? So then, all I've got to do is uh, go down to the Variac, dial it up, which it is already, so it's just a case of thump the switch on and get that uh, pulse light going in there. Uh, yes, this might be a bit difficult, this one, because that's up on the wall. The testing instrument is down there on the metering board, of course, and I won't be able to see both of the pulse lights at the same time. I should have taken it into account and put the SPB01 on the metering board. Uh, yeah, I should have done that, but let's not let's not waste time. Let's cut straight into it. Okay, it's only a little clicky clacky box anyway. So I'm going to go down to the variac then and fire everything up. Oh, I might like to point out as well. I last tested this in June 2006, so you know it's a little bit overdue for another test, which we're doing right now. Okay, so this is going to be 0.1 kilowatt hour accuracy test on a Schlumberger SPB01. In 3, 2, 1, energised device. Okay, that uh, instrument that you're watching there, it's starting to lag behind the testing instrument. Oh, 
my goodness me, that is really lagging now. Come on, keep up, for goodness sake. Right, it's almost done now. I'm going to cut the currents as soon as the testing instrument clicks over. There it is, I've cut the currents. What have we done on the SPB01 then? Is that light still turned on? No, it's not. It's gone out. But, as you can see, it's not clicked over to uh, one-tenth. Okay, we're currently on nine one-hundredths. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause uh, the testing instrument and let's see how many more pulses or whatnot we get out of that SPB01. I'm going to dial the variac down a bit so that we can uh, really scrutinise it. Uh, let me get that zoomed in a bit more. Because I don't want to get my head in shot because I'm not the video subject. So there's the pulse light then in that little hole where it says 800 imp uh, for slash kilowatt hours. Okay. Right, let's dial the variac down then. Uh, pulse the testing instrument. We don't need that anymore. Right, let's turn it on then and uh, away we go. How many more pulses are we going to get? There it is. Okay, stop it there. Right. So that was actually missing one pulse then. So what would that be? That would be, we wanted 80, but we got 79. Okay. We wanted 80, but we got 79. What I'm going to do is throw a little chart or table description up on the computer screen right about now. You can have a look at uh, what the fast speed was, what the ideal speed was, what the slow speed was, what we got out of that in this test, and whether it passes or fails. If it passes, there will be a big green box with pass in it. If it fails, there will be a big red box with fail in it. Have yourself a look at this. There we are then. Okay, so it does get in, but it's it's leaning on the slow side. Okay, for an instrument which was, uh, let's see, it says it on there somewhere. Uh, I think it says it somewhere on there. Oh, you can't. You it's just underneath that bit of sticky tape. Let me peel that off of there a bit. I've only put that on there so you can't see the previous owner. That's all. That's the only reason why it's on there. Right, what we got then? 1996. Okay. So, yeah, that was when that was manufactured. 1996. And put basically, it can't keep up. Okay. That's because it's a cheap, flipping, clicky, clacky box. But it passes the... Uh, 0 0.1 kilowatt hour accuracy test with a 2% tolerance anyway, so we'd have to let it go. Okay, it lives to see another day without seeing my hammer. Okay, not that I would do that, we'd just get out of the back garden, shove a ridiculous amount of phantom in it and pop it. Okay, that's what I'd do with one of those if it ever failed. I'll just put that bit of tape back on. So there you are then, if you enjoyed that one, or don't know what to make of it, give it a thumb up. Uh, subscriptions, yeah, dive in if you want, we'll have a bit of that. Uh, yeah, it's been another Wayne's Electrical production in 1920 by 1080p, full eye definition with stereo sound on the camera, of course. I've got to dash, okay, we've got more things to do, more vids, and I'll need a cup of tea time, I think. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, 
in this video you did hear me say that I've got two of those so a little bit later on you'll be seeing the other one we'll get that up in front of the camera and see how that one fares but now on this one cheers for watching